Hello everyone, welcome back to our classroom channel. Another mini lesson coming at you today. We have this one and then two more left and then we'll do our big writing piece. So let's get into today. Today we are talking about hyperbole. I'm gonna put it up on the screen here because it looks a little bit like hyperbole, but I promise you it is pronounced hyperbole. And this is another one of my favorites. It is a lot of fun because a hyperbole is an outrageous over-exaggeration to prove a point. And it can be ridiculous or funny, and usually it is ridiculous and funny. My favorite example of a hyperbole is one that I say all the time because I run a little warm, so my favorite one is, it is so hot in here I could just die. Now obviously the temperature in a regular room could never be hot enough for us to drop dead, but I am usually way too warm. So that's my favorite one to use. Now hyperbole is a kid's favorite form of figurative language, even though you don't realize that you're using it because it's an over-exaggeration. A lot of kids go over the top a lot. A lot of adults do it too, won't lie. Um, but another example is our teacher gave us two years of homework to do tonight. Now obviously a teacher could never assign enough homework for two years. We are skilled at many things, but not that. <laughs> but that's an over-exaggeration. Obviously you couldn't have two years of homework, but it might feel like it's gonna take you forever. Or have you ever sat at a red light for so long that it feels like you're going to grow old at this red light. That's another example. We've been sitting here forever. Now, obviously you haven't been sitting there forever, but it feels like that. So it's a big over-exaggeration. You are exaggerating way over the top to prove your point, to make your statement heard. Another funny example is your car is so old, there's hieroglyphs inside. Now obviously cars were not invented at the time that the Egyptians were building the pyramids and writing in hieroglyphics, hieroglyphs, hy obviously, but in over-exaggeration you can pull history into that, you can make it a little bit fun. So this one is really fun. I wanted to make another fun task for you guys. So today you're going to write a journal entry and it can be real or fake, but you're going to write a journal entry and you're going to write it all with hyperbole. I want you to over exaggerate. I want you to be silly. I want you to be goofy. I want you to just be outrageous in the things that you are saying in your journal entry. You can write this right in your notebook, right underneath your notes or beside your notes, wherever you need to, but make it outrageous, make it funny, make it ridiculous, over exaggerate to your heart's content, make your whole journal entry hyperbole and have fun doing it because this is really, really fun. Now, I want you to write until you're done writing. If that means you get a paragraph in five to seven sentences and you're like, I'm good, I've practiced, I'm, I'm done, I'm done my journal entry, that's good. If you get writing and you are having so much fun with it and you write two pages, do that too. Do whatever you need to do to do your best. But write your journal entry, over-exaggerate, have fun. I am so excited. We have two more mini lessons and then we're gonna do a little bit of a writing piece. So we will have a mini lesson tomorrow, a mini lesson on Monday, and we will start our writing piece on Tuesday. So I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for learning with me today. Bye everybody.